Hi, here's a short video showing the uh, my FT991A with uh, two items that I make for it. One is called Cat Knobs, which is situated in the bottom, and this is a um, oh, it's a, like a remote control for the FT991A, and it also works on a lot of the other newer Yaesu models. Uh, attached to it, we have a cat display which is an external display with a lot of indicators on it that, that very quickly let you see what the settings are on your transceiver. Um, these indicators here will change to green uh, when it's been activated or they go grey when it's not activated. So it's an easy way for you, rather than having to hunt through menus to see what's going on on the transceiver, you can see it here. Uh, digital mode operators especially like the fact that you can see ALC, power and SWR all at the same time when you're transmitting. So this allows you to adjust your microphone levels um, and your output power levels very easily. You can see everything at once without having to flip through different menus. And of course for those who like the analog meter we can see that we have um, an analog meter here for receive signal strength. That's a great ability. Now just back to the cat knobs. Um, the cat knobs allow you to program up to, I think it's 30 different uh, menu settings in here, uh, are available as a knob. So to operate them, we just simply turn the knob, and you can see this particular one is VFO up and down. So we can see we're changing frequency when we change that. Um, well, this one here I've programmed to be um, mode, so we can see we're changing modes here. Okay, and this one here uh, I've programmed for changing bands, so you can see as I change bands. And again, what the knob is programmed to do is shown on the little OLED display there. Okay, now all these knobs are programmable, there's six of them. And to program a knob it's just as simple as pressing the button, pressing the knob in and then turning. And as we turn we can see the different settings that we can change. Hopefully you can see all the settings there. They're all in alphabetical order. Okay, when you want it, you basically you stop turning on the setting that you want. And now when you turn that knob, it does that setting. So we're adjusting scratch here. Okay. Um, now, they both work together, so in this instance I have the cat knobs plugged into the transceiver first, from the transceiver's RS232 cat port, and then I have another cable running up from cat knobs, it has a pass-through port, to the cat display. The only drawback with the, uh, the only one drawback is, is the display does not update while you're turning a knob. So once you finish turning a knob, then the display will update. Um, but apart from that, the system's pretty seamless, and if we turn the transceiver, I've got this set up so that when I turn the transceiver off, everything goes off, I turn the transceiver on, everything comes on. And pretty quick to um, operate. Um, I'll show in another video how I've connected that all up, but that was just a quick overview of how cat knobs and cat display works with an FT991A. And remember, this will also work with a FTDX10 or the FTDX101 MP or any versions of those transceivers. The other transceivers that also work with is the later versions that support RS232 cat, and those include the FT450, uh, the uh, FTDX 300, 500, uh, and similar models. There's a complete list on my website at www.catknobs.com. Thanks very much for watching my video. Cheers.